BMW X7. Uh, I'm gonna show you how to connect to your vehicle and scan the codes. Uh, first of all, you're gonna need to put charger. So that's a positive, negative. Uh, so you need to put a charger, make sure your battery won't die on you. Then we're gonna need to have the OBD ENAT BMW adapter. On Amazon, it's like $22. Uh, on my computer, I don't have the LAN port, uh, so I bought an adapter that will go from the LAN port to the C port, USB-C. So let's connect, and then I'm going to show you how to scan the codes. To connect to your vehicle, uh, you guys going to need to connect to your computer uh, the adapter needs to be connected to the car and on a bmw g series not sure about other ones but on a bmw g series in order to turn your ignition on uh, without car starting you guys gonna have to press uh three times this button and then you get the ignition on without starting engine. We're gonna shut the light off, make sure we won't drain the battery. Now, when everything's ready, we're gonna start ISTA. Stands for Integrated Service Technical Application. All right, then we go to the operation, uh, reading vehicle data, and we're gonna start complete identification. All right, it's giving us some warning about unexpected engine start. Okay. Now it's reading faulty memory. So it's scanning for the faulty codes. All right, it's telling us about the voltage, that the voltage is below 12.55, which is yeah, showing 12.2. It's not so strong charger. All right, so we're gonna go to press OK. And wait to finish. All right, so now, uh, as you guys can see, it's a tree of uh, units. So we have two main units on the top and then the rest uh, branch it down uh, other units that connected and communicating between each other. So green ones is no fault. Yellow one, as it's showing here, ECU without faulty memory, ECU with faulty memory. Red when it's not uh, responding. And blue is when the programming is not correct. So yeah, we have three yellow ones, which is uh, this one, head unit, uh, high, and then the other one is instrument cluster, and this one, roof function. So let's try to uh, erase. Uh, so we're gonna click display faulty memories. It's gonna uh, display our faulty memories. And now let's try to erase them. Delete faulty memory. Say, so do you really want to clear all the errors? Yes. So we're gonna clean and see if, so the car is gonna restart on its own now when it's finishing. 
and then we're gonna see what we're gonna have for errors. All right, now it's restarting. Yep, it's restarting. And let's see what we got for. I'm gonna run quick shut the light off because it's discharging the battery. All right. All right, as you guys see, uh, all the errors uh, gone, everything green except one 